that Cleona is going to bring these back. I don't know if they're going to be available in the same bundle format that they were available during, you know, when these were available a month or so ago. But I know they're definitely going to come back because some of these are addition to their already existing collections. And they already mentioned that they're extending those collections. So if you like any of these, you just have to keep checking their channel for the latest news to see when they're going to be restocked. Let's begin with the stocking stuffers. So the swatch is very, very creamy. Although these are called glitter, I don't use anything that has plastic glitters on my face because they're unsafe for the eye and Cleona does not have plastic glitter in their products. These are mineral-based glitters and they are safe for using on the eye. So when they call it glitter multichrome, it means it has mica-based glitter. You know, how I think about this is that the, there is a base color and then there is a glaze over it. So I see a reddish brownish base, which is the undertone of the color. And then right now, from my angle, I see a pink base going into a teal, going into a green. Put a little bit more so that, you know, the more there is, the better you can see these shifts. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. Our next color is Duke, and this color looks so beautiful. It is one of the Glitter Vibrant Multicrowns. There's There are two colors in that collection regal and diadem and those are my two favorites the other colors in the collection are not as special as those two colors i have a swatch video of that collection if you want to see swatches to kind of get a better understanding of what i'm talking about you can check out that swatch video in my cleona playlist for all of the swatches i've done of cleona different cleona bundles is in the description box below but this color looks like those two special shades just in terms of the texture this color reminds me of electric from glaminatrix which is also a very special shade so you can see the flakiness this color is definitely more flaky than the first one although the first one was also kind of flaky you can see little tiny bits of you know, non-plastic non based glitter around it. But this one is definitely flaky. Like I'm seeing particles going everywhere as I'm swatching. So keep that in mind. Again, the pistachio base color. And then a pink, maybe even you can say magenta, light magenta, going to a copper, going to a bronze, going to a gold shift. Okay, friends, we're now going to do these in the order they came in the bundle. So let's get started with the first one, which is Line of Queens, which is a glitter vibrant multichrome. So this is another glitter vibrant multichrome. This color very much reminds me of Regal, except that the base color of Regal is a lot more blue toned purple. So it has more blue. This one is a deeper purple, so it has more red. Yeah, this is a super, super special shade. I even see a hue of copper from some angles. So the glaze goes gold to green to pink. Yeah, these glitter vibrant ones are truly some of my favorites. The next color is Sterling, which is an electric multichrome. So the general color of this shade is a light teal color and then i see shifts of silver or you can call it metallic white from certain angles i don't think i've ever seen this anywhere else in some angles i feel like it has a cream shift as well but i don't know if that's actually a shift or if that's just the base color because it does look like it has a kind of a cream base color this is also such a pretty color, very unique. This is Willow the Wisp, which is supposed to be a duochrome, a circular pan. I don't see a lot of base. This looks like it's gonna be one of those topper colors. I think I mentioned somewhere that this reminds me of Nokomis. And now that I swatched it, it even reminds me of Nokomis more because it looks like it is just a sheer purple sort of iridescent shade but this one from some angles has a shift of green i think you can see that also just in the pan you can see the 
green base shade whereas Nokomis doesn't have that. Nokomis again is one of Divina Cosmetics's very popular Halo Moon collection iridescent multichromes. So the shift of the top color is kind of blue to purple. So our next color is Rosarium, which is an earth vibrant multichrome. And you all know I love anything with a magenta and a gold shift, although I can't see a very prominent gold shift here, but I'm still very intrigued. Okay, so this color is also a little bit more grainy or powdery, meaning that you can see these tiny specks around it. It's as if it's sort of having some fall off, but it's so beautiful. I can see the magenta shift going to a bronze and a copper shift. I'm going to show you all the same shifts from a different angle out of light so that you can see there might be other shifts that are captured as well that you just can't see when I move my hand around under the light. Okay, friends, our next color is Dynasty. This is also from the Glitter Vibrant Multichromes. There's so many new Glitter Vibrant Multichrome colors. I'm excited. Let's swatch this baby. Ooh, I like this. It does swatch like the Glitter Vibrant ones. So it's very creamy, very similar to Regal and Diadem and some of these other Glitter Vibrant ones. I'm sure you can see the base which is sort of a lighter tealy maybe you can call it grayy color but i see teal and then you have a glaze of purple to a pink over it and you do see sort of a lighter pink going into a darker purple and i love that shift you all know i love my purples I mean, it literally feels like I have metal swatched on my hand. And then our next one is another circular pan, which is just a foiled shadow called Ancient Coin. And that is a, also a beautiful shade. It's interesting because this shade does look like it has a very mild red or reddish brown undertone. And then obviously it has that interesting pewtery, but like more goldy pewtery shift on top. Pewter to me is much more silver than this, but it's a beautiful shade. Our next shade is Light Fast, which is going to be one of their Series 3 iridescent multichromes. To my understanding, this is going to be a new series that's coming up. And I'm so excited. So this one kind of reminds me of Red Giant from Terra Moons. I see a magenta shift, very prominent and relatively darker magenta shift going into a bronze shift. Well, going into a pink shift, going into a bronze shift, and then going kind of into gold. This is such a beautiful color. And interestingly, when I hold it like this, at the very end, I do see green. Our next shade is another circular pan, which is a regular metallic shade called Twilight. So it's interesting because this color does look like it has a, a sort of greeny base. And then it does also look like it has a lot of tiny glitter particles in it. Okay, friends, continuing, we now have Sculpture, which is one of the Earth Vibrant Multichromes. And I love this one. You all know, I generally like anything that has a neutral shift, any multichrome with a neutral shift. And this one is just so beautiful. So the two colors that come to mind are Weld by Cleona and Hyperion from Terra Moons because the, both of those are multichromes with a neutrally sort of a cream color shift. 
this one is so special. So I see sort of a taupe shift going into a mild light green shift. And I'm trying to see if I can capture any other shift. I do see some pink or like dark pastel magenta shift. I do some side by side just visual comparisons of the pan with some of the other Cleonas that I have. In the first video where I did the unboxing, if you're curious, you can check out that video. That video will be recommended to you at the end of this video if you want to check that one out. And then our next one is another circular pan called Papyrus that's just a regular shimmer shadow. This shade looks like it has tiny, tiny, tiny silver glitters in it, which gives it a very interesting and unexpected cold hue and a cold shift. And I love that about this shade because it kind of is a coral shade. I mean, it's a metallic light coral shade, but it actually has a very cool toned shift. Our next shadow looks super special. This is Goblet, which is going to be a new electric multichrome. I did a side by side comparison of this shade with the already existing shade in the shades in the electric multichrome collection and this one looks so unique they don't have anything that looks like this and it's so special so this one has a reddish coralish undertone with a gold to green hue or glaze on top you know and from some angles it goes into teal and then our last shade I think is going to become my new favorite is Orchard, also from the Earth Vibrant Multichromes collection. So this shade has an undertone of teal and then the glaze over it goes gold to copper to pink magenta. Okay, beauties, so that's it for all 12 shades and the two stocking stuffers. At the end of this video, the unboxing of this collection is going to be recommended to you. If you're interested to see some of the comparisons I talked about, you can click on that video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I make more content like this. I love you all. Have an amazing day and until next time. Bye.